hello everyone and welcome back to the channel i hope you all are doing absolutely well guys in today's video we are going to talk about most awaited updates regarding cognizant okay we are going to talk everything in detail from loi to your offer letters your document requires offer delays onboarding status and a lot more details so if you have been waiting for your offer letters or are confused about the process of cognizant stay tuned till the end most of your doubts will get clarified so guys before we start the video if you are new to the channel consider subscribing to the channel as i regularly post these kinds of helpful videos for all of you on daily basis also guys make sure to check the current latest off campus drives which are currently ongoing from different companies i am regularly posting it on my channel so guys let's see first of all what we are going to cover in today's video then we will be going through each topic one by one so guys first of all that we are going to see is LOI to offer letter details, the, what is the current status, then we are going to talk about delay reasons and eligibility clarification, then we will be moving on and seeing the cluster based offer updates, that is either uh, it was basically considered that you know, there is also a lot of confusion that is a particular cluster candidates are getting their results earlier and then the later ones or how is it so, then we are going to talk about on campus versus off campus offer timelines, then offer letter revoked status relocation issues, date of joining and required documents that you should have before you are joining. So guys, let's start with LOI to offer letter updates, okay, and what is the current status. So guys, many students received their LOI two months back, okay, and only 50 to 70 percent of those candidates have received the offer letters as of now and remaining all are waiting. Now guys, you have to understand this thing that delay is totally normal and offer letters are still being rolled out. So you don't have to worry about it. Basically, Cognizant always rolls out all the results and offer letters and everything in phases. So there is very high chances that if you have not received it yet, you might receive it soon. Now both on campus and off campus students are receiving the offer letters gradually. So you don't have to worry about that, you know, if someone from the off campus is getting and you are on campus, then you are thinking that, you know, off campus candidates are currently getting and I am not getting. So it is not like the case. They are equally, all are equally getting the offer letters. And if you haven't, uh, like if you have received your LOI, you are selected. Okay. So don't panic that, you know, what if, what uh, the delay will result in, in my case. Okay. So your LOI you have got, which means it is the confirmation that you will definitely get your offer letters now moving on talking about the delays okay why all of this delay is happening and does this mean that are you rejected at any point so see guys first of all let's talk about the reason for delay so final degree or provisional certificates are un unavailable for most of the recent batch candidates so this is one of the reasons that the company is delaying because company usually can hire those candidates okay whose graduation is completed and they do not have any ending examinations or anything which is pending okay many students falsely marked it av available during form submission okay because what happened was there was a survey form which was asked in which it was asked that you know are you ready to join or are you available to join and some of the candidates even though their college is pen their final examinations are pending they still mark that yes we are available to join the students must submit an affidavit if degree is not available okay so this is also but yeah you don't have to get it now itself basically when you need it they will be asking you so this is one of the things okay now talking about offer letters are going out in batches so wait five days maximum i would say and you are not rejected if you get an oil i understand this thing again i am repeating the same thing now cluster wise confusion okay so there was a lot of class uh, confusion related to cluster basically there were like different cluster okay c plus plus was not there uh, we were having c sharp java and python and guys i also got to know recently that the, now when the exams are happening they have removed c sharp cluster and only two clusters are getting uh, is allocated to the students that is your java and python only which is kind of good also because you know c sharp was a bit tough for the students because c sharp you know they have to specifically learn separately so they yeah, are talking about the results of the previous batches all the clusters are receiving the offer letters it's not at all like you know a particular cluster candidates are getting and the other ones are not getting and delay is not based on cluster at all it is general processing delay okay which means that whatever the delay is, is happening it is for it is common for all and not any cluster specific so guys you just have to stay patient and many from the same cluster have received the offer letters now talking about on campus versus off campus timelines okay so guys no separate timeline for on campus versus off campus both the results are getting released uh, simultaneously offers are being rolled out and uh, based on the submission order okay it's not like uh, uh, first of all all the on campus candidates will be getting their results and then all the off campus ones will be getting it is not like so everyone will get their results timing may vary slightly uh, for by few days or few weeks that is totally fine and no need to panic based on the batch type talking about offer letter revoked a real case i would be telling you 
see guys there was a lot of confusion that was happening i got a lot of dms over the instagram also that we have heard that the company is revoking few offer letters what is that case so i'll give you the real case exam example what has actually happened a candidate basically what they did was they declined their offer letter twice okay like when you get the offer letter you have the option to accept it or reject it okay so what they did was they declined it because their location preference was not matching okay and they might have like you know uh, have a word with hr or something that i want to get my location relocated uh, to my nearest location and what happened is they still rejected it twice so uh, once they rejected twice third time cognizant themselves marked that they are not interested in joining the company so that is what the happen case was happening that the offer letter was revoked permanently okay now they will not get uh, the offer letter again so don't reject i would just suggest you that don't reject location if you are serious about your career see guys initially you have to join based on the location that you get and relocation is always possible after training you can speak to the hr if the circumstances are good and if you are lucky enough you can get relocation uh, like you know you can get your location changed basically at a later point of time also but i would highly suggest you that you know because of these silly reasons you know, of locations and all don't reject any offer especially if you don't have any other offer in hand if you have a better opportunity then totally fine otherwise just for relocation or location purpose don't uh, like you know reject it now relocation tips join the given location first whatever you are getting okay like chennai competitor etc whatever you have got initially i would highly suggest you that to join that and after training you can re request for relocation via hr but that is also you have to understand it is not confirmed that you will definitely get it relocated if the circumstances are good if hr agrees and if your project allows then you can get it relocated and you may give a family reason also to justify the relocation is needed you, you can you know if the case is genuine in your case and if they feel that yeah you actually need a relocation then they can give you okay and avoid rejecting location offers market is slow right now i have already created a video today also that you know tcs is uh, tcs is planning to fire like around 12000 candidates even many companies are doing layoffs so i would highly recommend you that if you are getting an offer letter please don't reject it if because of silly reasons okay if there is a genuine reason and all that is totally fine okay now talking about new date of joining plus documents that will be required first of all the date of joining that you will be getting uh, like the next date of join, joining on which the candidates are onboarding is 29th of july and in the upcoming days also the joining will be there now what are the documents that you should carry your 10th 12th under graduation or post graduation whatever you have done those mark sheets and then your provisional certificate if you have received two hard copies of your resume your passport size photographs your pan card aadhar card and passport your loi and loa your affidavit if provisional it is if if you don't have it then provisional uh, like just in case if you have not received the provisional right so i told you na affidavit you need to get it so that one i am talking about okay now pre joining formality copies and then your experience document if applicable if you are a fresher then experience documents won't matter carry originals plus soft copies and hard copies also okay because it can happen they can ask for anything so you should be ready with everything So guys, I have tried to cover almost everything which was possible in this video. If you have any more doubts, please put them in the comment section and do let me know your status on which current status you are. Either you have received the LOI or either are you waiting for your offer letters or you are in a completely different uh, you know phase it in itself. Please comment down. Uh, we will get to know a lot about that because you know when you comment down, we will get an idea that what is the current hiring process or phase which is currently ongoing. and make sure to join me on telegram and follow me on instagram as well and to see more such helpful videos from my channel make sure that you subscribe to the channel to receive all the latest regular updates from my channel that's all for this video thanks for watching the video and i will see you next time